Here's some more helpful tips about saving fuel from my book, 75 Ways to Save Gas from Penguin. Everybody generally knows and accepts the fact about the air conditioner in the summer. When it's hot outside, you turn on your air and it cools you off. Pretty obvious. When it cools down a bit or you can open your windows, people know to turn this off. They know that it eats a lot of fuel. A lot of people don't know that it's 25 to 30 percent. So that's a really, really big number. Probably the biggest one next to speeding. It's, it's the number two tip in my book is saving fuel by turning off your air conditioner. But did you know about this one here? This is defrost. Most people, because I get in a lot of cars, have this button switch turned on all winter from November all the way through into April. You generally tend to see that and you can hear it all whipping up and powering now. It requires a lot of energy to turn on that defroster. It's because it's cycling your air conditioner. Not as strong as the AC button, but it still eats a lot of gas. It generally would be about 20%. And if you're having it on for four or five months of the winter, you're really wasting a lot of fuel. So keep an eye on both of those. If you have a more expensive vehicle, you'll probably have what's called auto climate, which is generally, you know, just the word there. If you push auto climate, once again, you can hear that crazy noisy fan in the background eating up a lot of your fuel. A lot of people don't know. They turn on the auto switch, it sets it to the temperature they like, but look what happened. The air conditioner came on. Every time you hit auto, the air comes on. Not a problem using that feature, just make sure you turn off the air when you do, and then it'll totally dial itself back.